What about work? It seems to me that we need to focus less on arming people for meritocratic competition and focus more on making life better for those who may lack a, a diploma, but who nonetheless make essential contributions to our society through the families they raise, the work they do, and the communities they serve. We should renew the dignity of work and put it at the center of our politics. And what it means to renew the dignity of work is to begin by recalling that the point of work is not only about making a living, it's also about contributing to the common good and winning recognition for doing so. If part of the roots of our polarization and the rancor and the resentment that afflict our societies has to do with attitudes towards success, then I think those of us, especially those of us who enjoy some measure of success have a responsibility to reflect on the meaning of that success. And here it might be time for a moral, even spiritual turning, questioning our tendency, and it's a hard tendency to stave off, our tendency toward meritocratic hubris. One worry I have about, um, you know, I think the pandemic really put to test the issue about what creates a culture of public trust? Um, what are the conditions that make for these vast divergences in the way different political communities have taken different paths because of the relationship between the elites and um, uh, people, as, people at large? And I wonder if you have any thoughts about at this moment of crisis or turning point, if you like, what it takes to build a culture of public trust. It takes um, the art of listening rather than just uh, dispensing policies, it, even though they might be well-conceived policies, rebuilding trust requires giving people voice, enabling people to participate in some meaningful way and shaping the collective destiny. It requires forums for public deliberation of a kind we don't really have. It requires bringing people together across uh, different backgrounds of class, race, ethnicity, faith, gender, reasoning together, getting people in the habit of cultivating the, the art of democratic public discourse. 